we're going to make goose sounds into the call. What I want you to do is just like we did before, I want you to go for about five seconds of making the low sound into the call, but don't let the call make a sound. And then we're going to slowly increase the volume of our voice. Notice what I just said, increase the volume of your voice. Don't worry about expelling more air. Don't focus on your air, focus on your voice. Because remember, we use our voice every day. So as I talk louder or I try to, you know, scream or, you know, the, the way I use my voice, the air is going to be there. All right. That's a good thing about using our voice because we know how to control our air. It's just, it's second nature. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath, go for about five seconds with just the voice, no sound in the call, and then concentrate on increasing the volume of your voice. And what you want to do is you want to start feeling that call just to where it barely vibrates. We're not trying to get loud. We just want to make just a very deep, hollow sound. So as I increase the volume of my voice, it'll sound like this. I'm going to go making it louder. Let's practice it in the back of the call real quick. I'm just making it louder. So let's do it into the call and it'll sound something like this. Okay, we're going for about five seconds, putting our voice into the call, but not letting the call make a sound. Then we slowly increase the volume of our voice to where the call barely starts to vibrate. All right, let's do it again. When you hit that right, you're gonna feel the call vibrate and you're gonna feel your hands vibrate and everything is just gonna feel very rich and deep sounding. Um, this is very important. We want to practice this because remember, think about what geese do. When geese make sounds, they don't just jump right into it. They build it up from nothing and into a full note. It's kind of like when we talk. You know, when I say the word word, um, I'm not just jumping into it saying erd, erd, you know. You want to pronunciate the full word. And I start from nothing. I go word, word. To make the full sound. It's the same thing with blowing a goose call. When we're making these notes, we want to make full rich notes, especially in the beginning during the learning process because if we start with ground zero, our base foundation of making these complete notes from nothing, building it all the way up, then as we become more advanced, as we become a lot quicker, we're going to have a lot of rich full sounds and it's going to basically, it's going to make our goose calling sound very full in quality. Now obviously that's for training purposes only because as we start, as we become more proficient at this, we're not going to drag it out that long. And we're certainly not going to go for five seconds before we make the note. This right here is just training us to feel that call build up from nothing and into the full note so that way it becomes second nature. Because as we become more proficient, <laughs> Every single note that I'm doing builds up from nothing and into the full note. So this is why it's very important to practice that. So let's do it a couple more times. I know we're getting tired of this, but please just do it a couple more times and then we're going to move into actually breaking the note over. Mm -hmm. 